We're going to import some sketches in Adobe Firefly and test it out how accurate it is. Can it actually create something amazing from the sketches or not? And we're going to push the envelope a little bit. All right, so for the first reference, I'm going to roll with the skull with the glasses. I draw the skull with my limited skills in anatomy. Now let's go to Adobe Firefly. I'm going to leave a link in the description with the website so you can access this. And we're going to go to the reference structure here. And here you can upload your image, click on it. And I'm going to select the skull, click open. Now this skull is a square size image, so I'm going to go to the aspect ratio and change it from widescreen to square. Now let's scroll down, push the strength all the way up. I'm also going to push the style strength all the way up. Here we got the reference. You can go to browse gallery. And what I did, I chose some images with neon. So check this out. We got a neon section here and I went with this one. Now let's go back. Let's scroll down and here we got a lot of effects here. You can go by filters or you can go to all and just select the filters you like. I'm going to select the cyberpunk. Let's scroll. I'm also going to select the cinematic. Let's scroll more. There's also a dope filter somewhere, which is, oh, there you go. Concepts, chaotic. And if you scroll down, you got like a couple of more options, color and tone. I'm going to go with vibrant color, lighting. I'm going to go with studio lights. You also can choose the camera angle. I got to go with wide angle. Now this doesn't work all the time, but check this out here. You got all the prompts and keyword laid out right here. You also can type in a prompt here. I'm going to go with skull with sunglasses. And then up here is going to show other reference prompts as well, but I'm going to go with the simple one. And then we're going to go to the bottom right corner, click on generate. And let's see what we're going to get. And look at that. We got the skulls generated with all kind of neon effects, crazy backgrounds, chaotic. And it's actually the same exact sketch that we imported. So it basically respected the silhouette of the sketch and tried to create something very similar. And if you want to change these up, you can scroll up, for example. You can choose another style. I'm going to try it out with this image, for example, and I'm going to remove some prompts like cyberpunk and let's generate. It's actually not that bad. This is respecting the style really good. I mean, the quality is not that cool, but you know, the main concept is great. And this was it for today. Thanks for watching.